Uh, hello everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh yeah we're going to do another load out of uh um recon's uh site in troy and we're going to go south this time down to missoula and it should be pretty good and um yeah to that i think we're going to head out into the tulis there to that logging site we'll see how that looks and um uh that last video i did i think i was running 1.5 uh, not 1.6 and I actually uh, this version here is um, even newer it's 1.7 but uh, Recon's going to release it as soon as he's had a good look at it make sure it's what he wants so I guess he moved a few things around and uh, <laughs> he says in the description he called the county in to uh, fix up some spots on the road so we'll see how that looks and uh, we got the Freight Shaker FLC here from Hataru and um, got her kind of set up heavy duty. It's got uh, the chassis up a little bit and we've got some uh, 24 5 steelies on here uh, for wheels. And um, yeah, it looks pretty tough. It's got a nice logging rack, uh, painted, looks, looks the business. And I like that the uh, pipes are protected reasonably well by that rack so it's got a nice pipe rack combination so we got the uh, chain front bumper on there so another nice off-road touch so yeah let's uh, spark her up and get going oh let's hop inside I'm always doing the startup from outside yeah I should be doing it in here let's see what we got for animations the key where's the ignition uh, I didn't see anything move <laughs> Alrighty. How's those smears and everything look? That's all good. Oh, uh, I see. Trailer brake. Parking brakes. Let's see if we got a diff lock on or off. Okay, that's unlocked. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Fifth wheel slider lock. Or unlock we don't I don't have a control for that so lights we had let's just looking to see something move here what about wipers yeah the wiper knob moves cool that's cool and Jake uh, yeah right there that switch on the dash that's good to know okay we're all set uh, let's have a look at this thing uh, I think we might put the beacons on because we have them. I gotta do that. I have that uh, joy to key thing. I gotta map that uh, button so I can get one stroke on that instead of having to flap away at it. Oh, I wonder if we can turn out of here without getting Tex uh, run over here. Oh, it looks like he's gonna be fine. So we're going to try it without the diff lock. Not sure how this truck will do. Um, don't think I've modified the chassis on this one. Now, guy, uh, I, I made a video last night, a tutorial, on adding weight to the chassis. And uh, once you know it, I... Uh, it was late after I'd done this video, or the previous video, and I, uh, oh, we got somebody else working on the field here. Um, I uh, forgot to set it to record the desktop instead of just the game. And so <laughs> I get all the way through it and then I go to uh, edit it and uh, there's no desktop. So it's kind of pointless. So I'm going to try again tonight. Got the DD60 in here. Let's see if we can figure out where uh, Recon patched the road. Well, we haven't spun the tires yet, so that's a good sign.
Oh, I put some gravel on here. This is where they showed up. <laughs> Thanks, Recon, for getting in touch with the town and whoever, the local county roads department. Gotta remember to take a screenshot. Always forgetting. I get a good one up here try that for starters and maybe we'll get one around this corner nice action shot here figure it out oh, keep the truck on the road oh man branch got in the way just <laughs> that's the way it goes okay it's uh time to pucker up and uh Get ready for this downhill toboggan ride. More gravel here. This truck is handling this really well. No chassis mods needed. But then again, this isn't a very heavy load. Gotta get some triple low boy loads in here. So far back here from the truck, you don't hear the racket from the truck, just the Travel on the road. Oh, I thought we were done with the switchbacks. My bad. Got to drive this a little more. wasn't uh, positioned where I wanted to be on the road, but it was wide enough, it didn't matter. Yeah, we're doing just fine. This is the last stretch. Okay, Lori, I imagine we're gonna go left. I don't think we can go right here. Oh, we got signs. What do we got here? How far I can back up this thing. Oh, that going back that way. Welcome to Nova Custom Logging Inc., a driver friendly company. Please watch for wildlife. Narrow road, sharp corners, all vehicles must be prepared to stop and chain up at any time. Cool. Nice. All right. Yeah, I haven't finished it. I, I didn't make the skin for a day cap. So uh, what I did is when I made the skin, uh, I just wanted to see how it would work on all cabs. So the back is totally not aligned. That's uh, something I gotta work on. So, but I threw it on here anyway, cause it's getting late and I gotta do the video. And uh, I thought, oh, what the heck, you guys will understand, or <laughs> hopefully you do. If you don't, well, that's the way it is. Next time you see it, uh, it'll be down the road. I won't run it again back to back, but I gotta fix it up. And I have um, 
three skins I think I might have mentioned before for this truck, and I I thought I'd put them on Steam, but I never did. And I got to do that, and uh, I think Hadru, Hadru, he would like to uh, probably do a video with one on the truck. So I need to uh, get my finger out on that. Oh, I guess uh, some of you may have seen the screenshots I put up of the uh, Mac B61 today. Or the, uh, yesterday, if you're watching this on, gee, what, Wednesday? Um, Go straight. Anyway, um, yeah, that thing's almost ready, too. And once again, it's the day cab. <laughs> I got to, uh, I got to paint the back of the day cab, and that'll do it. That skin will be ready to go. I kind of like it. I, I did. I never thought I would put the old school skin on that Mac B61, but a uh, fella in the comments a couple weeks ago asked for it, and I thought, well, that's not a bad idea. I'll, as soon as I can get to it, I will. And. Uh, I unfortunately I forget his name, and I apologize for that if you're watching. But uh, you'll have that skin really soon. And then uh, another one I want to get at is uh, oh, I got just it just doesn't end, you know. But uh, uh, request out there for the rubber duck uh, R700. I know skins have been done of it, so I'll have to look at that skin. I guess I'll subscribe to it and see what it looks like and see if what I would do better or different, if, if at all. And that makes sure it's not a, a wasted effort. I mean, this guy's out there makes some pretty darn good skins. Now up inside here. to get a handle on where the to aim this thing so we've got to have the I'm a little low in the seat so the rubber deck's got to be further right than I would normally have it so around uh, let me see let's see somewhere around somewhere around there see how it looks at like that mirror He's got to be well right of center. out of gear and I couldn't use my jake there it was all brakes they'll be smoking uh oh I got the uh oh down here yeah they're cooling down yeah I, I see I have my brake temperatures on here and they must be in uh I don't know if it's in Celsius or Fahrenheit but well it must be Fahrenheit but uh it doesn't seem to go as high as brakes would would really go. I think they got up to about 400. I think um, that's about as high as they'll go in the, in this uh, gauge on my panel. Again, we have uh, trans temp and the axle temps. What were we in the other day? We were in something that 
I thought it was, uh, what the heck was it? It was, uh, had a similar dash layout. Maybe it was, I don't know what the FLB has, but we had a boost gauge underneath the uh, trans temp gauge over on the right side there, those three gauges. I wonder what that was. Uh, what were we driving recently? The Marmon? Don't think it was it. Oh well, yeah, should slow down a little sooner. I wish I could see the gauge needles better. Is that pyrometer? I don't see anything swinging around on the gauge, like. I'd have to get this thing out after dark. I can see, I think I can see the needle. It's about 25% on the gauge. That was never going to work. I was to get over here because it goes down to one lane up there. Go straight. It's like a utility company uh, auger. That truck in front of us. Yeah, I was such a hurry to get going. I didn't uh, Go take the time to make these wheels uh, white to match the truck on the trailer. But uh, that's what happens when you're when you're in a hurry. Uh oh. Boy, we're having a frame rate hiccup there. Go straight. Yeah, look at that. Boy, that's some big stutters. I don't have my frame rate counter on. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Let's hop back in here. Oh yeah, I can see that uh, parameter now. Watch that thing, see if it drops or... It's about 20% of the gauge, maybe 25. It looks like it's going down. It sure does. Oh man, 
Oh, I think I noticed that before in the last trip with this truck. That's right. That's not news. That's just my lame brain. I was um, putzing around in that old Mac today, the B61, and I put the uh, END, what is it, TD, um, 676 in it. That was kind of fun, and 10-speed uh, transmission. I was looking for a nine speed, but the I, I made the mistake of uh, in the real Eaton Fuller transmissions, it has something that's calling an eight plus one. I'm thinking, okay, nine speeds. But I, like a Bozo, I just, like I leave the uh, 18 speed pretty much all the time. It's, I mean, if you had your druthers, like, I mean, that's the transmission. Uh, for most of the stuff I do in this game, but for the lighter truck, and I thought for old time's sake, because I've owned trucks with a 9 speed and a 10 speed, I'd, I'd put that in. And um, I forgot to change the game settings for the shifter. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I'll have to go back and re examine that. But the, uh, the 8 and 1 that I picked drove exactly like uh, a 5 and 2, if you know what that is. That's a 5-speed transmission with a 2-speed rear axle. And so you split every gear. So uh, it depends. If you have a short fourth, then you, you split fourth and fifth once between high and low on four. You get four gears out of it. It's kind of a cool thing. I had one of those too. But um, so anyway, so I was driving like a five and two. I thought that was pretty weird. So I ditched that because that brings back bad memories of gas-powered trucks. <laughs> uh. Anyway, um, I gotta go back and try that again in the old Mac. But the other thing with the old Mac, I. Uh, what kind of low did I take? Oh yeah, it was a uh, double low boy machinery haul. And uh, and I took a load out of that uh, Troy, the logging site there. And <laughs> I don't know what was going on. It said I, I, I had, uh, theoretically I had something like uh, 358 gears, I think. And that thing was screaming at 65 miles an hour. Like it was definitely not... Uh, something was off there. And I had changed the uh, shifter settings in the uh, game preferences or the controls to uh, a 10 speed. So it wasn't that I forgot that. That was just weird. Highway. Why is the Jake turning off? That was weird. Well, maybe because I was using the brakes or something. I don't know. Um. I see the Jake light is right behind the spoke of the steering wheel. I'll turn it on and uh, 
straight here. See, see the green light in the middle of the dash? That's the Jake light. That's cool. So I got to, uh, oh, okay, gonna, yeah, he's letting us go. I need to, um, oh, hang on, make a lot of noise here. <laughs> I, I need to uh, figure out Truckee again for, uh, like I used to use it all the time, and I used to have that little ribbon display across the bottom of the screen, and, uh, you know, I put this panel here, and I don't use that anymore. Or panel, a tablet. And um, but one thing that was cool in Truckee is the dispatcher feature. I used to know how to use it, but there's a bunch of guff like fooling around to sort of figure it out. And I'm sure I've forgotten, but I need to figure it out again because it was really neat. slowing down to go into from one to two lanes again my word that uh, gets pretty stale quickly <laughs> go straight. I van lines and what uh, that's a Chevy Bison um, so... Okay. What's I going to say about that? Uh, darn it, I lost my train of thought when I got that notice we had to turn. Oh, we came down here the other day with that big trailer. The, uh... What was that? Oh man, I'm taking you guys on a repeat trip. Oh, my bad. That's a bummer. My apologies for that. Yeah, that parameter is up over halfway now with this climb. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Now I just got to figure out where the manifold pressure gauge is. there. I don't see it anywhere there. I'm really stroking along here. <laughs> Getting all excited about getting this thing going. Trying to find that. Oh.
Bell Town. Oh, this is cool. I don't, uh, don't know if we've, how much of this we've been on before. Okay, so yeah, we, we're going to be going to the distant logging site because here's a near one, so we're going to go up a, another windy logging road. Oh boy. Side of us. Sorry, bud. Like there's some big hairpins on this road too, judging by the map, starting right here. I gotta look at the chassis of this truck. Uh, let's see if I've done anything to it because uh, it seems to have tons of traction. done with the twisties yet here. You should see if the trailer runs over those logs, so I'm missing them by a mile. It's going to see if they are like those rocks outside Littlewood on the road where you just kind of go straight through them. Well, this is a cool road, but it's not as challenging as the one at the other end at Troy. I mentioned to take a load in there. I think as the uh, recon alluded to this, that you know, once you go in and out a few times, it'll algorithm builds up, it'll start to find loads for you in and out. It's a really tight one coming up here. <laughs> he just made it around that tree of the foot or two to spare. <laughs> Look at the speed limit on this road, 65. Well, that ain't right. Just barely catch this. We're not going to get this thing parked. 
Okay. Oh, over there. Darn. Okay, so, oh, that's just down the hill. Ah, it's one of these sites. How about, look, oh yeah, cool. Actually, we're looking out. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, we got, we're doing fine. figure out where the boost gauge is in this. It'd be weird that it has a parameter and no boost gauge. It's kind of bugging me. Alright. See how we got lined up here. Oh, pretty good. Well, there we go. Mulligan's trucking uh, has a logging truck. It's pretty cool. So I have to finish the back of that cab up and make it work. Cause I mean, look at those stripes. <laughs> They're all over the place. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's get that off. That. See how this load paid. Wow, 93. Oh, I must have put realistic fuel consumption on. That's what I did. Oh, that's why it's more <laughs> starting to use fuel. I was used to the old numbers. But yeah, look at that. 31,000. Good stuff. Valuable lumber. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Once again, thanks for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to just quickly look at the lights on the dash. Yeah, so they look pretty good. Nice to do a night drive in this truck. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And uh, we've had a few number, quite a few new subscribers in the last week or two. And um, I really appreciate it. Thank you and welcome aboard. And just a reminder, guys, that um, I'm making these videos at 1440p and 60 frames per second. So if they look a little funny on your device or whatever you're watching them on, Click your um, uh, video settings and uh, or display settings, whatever, and you can ramp it up to 1440. If you're if you're on a mobile device, sometimes your bandwidth or your uh, speed won't uh, allow for it. But try it anyway. See how they look, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.